Good morning. Today we're talking about the Manly Man's Quad by Quad Extreme Tenors. We're gonna talk about how I built them, how you can build them if you're crazy enough to do it, and why it is totally illogical and stupid for me to have these. But like, they're so cool though. It's so cool. Like, these are so cool. about to learn how much of a pain in the butt it is for me to have these drums and how I use them. But first, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that liberty bell and click that like button. And also Big Black is here to give you a friendly reminder to watch 31 seconds into the ad breaks. Because if you don't, he's gonna come to your house and scream at you for 31 seconds straight. Like this. <laughs> Okay, so I live in the marine bar- oh yeah, we gotta turn the lights out, yep, yep. Okay, so I live in the marine barracks, and every time I want to play these drums, I- Oh, nasty, who's leaving uniform parts laying around? Ah, oh, nasty things. Alright, anyways, as I was saying, so I live in the marine barracks, and I can't play these drums in the comfort of my own room, because I'll piss everybody off in the building. So every time I want to play these, I gotta go out to my- Look at this nasty trash. Blowing in from the outside. Ugh, nasty littering things. All right, anyways, so every time I gotta play these drums, I have to go out into the parking garage and play them, and I go take the elevator, I get to listen to some nice, relaxing elevator music. I'm just kidding, there's no music playing in this elevator. So these drums live in my car, and I have to drive my car all the way to the top of the parking garage to play them. But while I'm driving up there, I like to put on some tunes and get a nice quick warm-up in. Ooh, I love this song! So in case you didn't notice the mess of drums in the back seat, I can't put these drums in my car without taking them apart, because they don't fit. And I know what you're thinking, oh Eric, just get a truck, just go, just go buy a truck, Eric. Well, I don't want to buy a truck. But if this video gets 1500 likes, I will get a golden sphincter. Oh what, you think I won't do it? I'll do it. But I built these drums with that storage issue in mind, so they come apart into three sections. The middle section is the set of tenors as is, with four extra spots attached to it. Kinda looks like those overhead searchlights on a truck. And there are two sets of triple toms that attach into the main body, creating the extreme quad by quad tenors. So I just took an extra set of tenors that I had and disassembled those, as well as two drum set toms and two more Spock drums that I randomly had, and pretty much just Frankensteined all of them together into one thing. So Mask Guy here was nice enough to make a time-lapse video for us for when he created these drums, because we had to drill some extra holes into the shells to get the spacers on to connect them together, and by the way, that does not affect the sound whatsoever. So as long as you, you know, take the time to carefully plan out where the holes are gonna go and make sure the spacers are in the right spot, it won't affect the sound, it doesn't matter. But please, if you are inexperienced with power tools, and especially if you are a minor, like, do this under adult supervision. Like, I don't want to hear about some 13-year-old kid kid that watched this video and then went out into the garage and played around with power tools and now drilled a hole into his face, okay? Like, do this under adult supervision and with proper safety equipment. This has been your EMC Production Safety Brief.
So there is a total of 15 spacers on this set of drums. And on these drums, the two Spocks, they attach into the back bar. If you have a different set of hardware and you're trying to do this, you may need a couple more spacers to get those Spocks on there. But I already had six of those 15 spacers because they came with the two sets of tenor, so I only had to buy nine more spacers. So like I said, these drums come apart into three sections, so every time I want to play them, I have to put the triple toms together into the main body on both sides. And it's kind of annoying and really a pain in the butt, but like, these are so cool, guys. Like, these drums are so cool. Like, oh man. And also, the spacers that I ordered are a different size than the spacers that came on the drums originally, so I have to have two sets of socket wrenches to get these drums put together. And as I'm watching this time-lapse video go by, I am starting to realize that my butt looks really, really good in those jeans. Leave a comment if you agree. Also, you're gonna need to get a sturdy tenor stand for these drums. I bought this pearl stand. This one works fine. I don't have any issues with the drums tipping over or anything like that. I know that these stands right here, I always have issues with the drums like tipping over if it's not set up like a hundred percent completely perfect and that's just with a regular set of six drums like i don't think this stand can handle the extreme tenors so you're gonna maybe need to invest in a better tenor stand so safety first right you want to make sure you're lifting with your legs and not your back just like that Ooh, yes and then sometimes trying to get them on the stand it can be a little bit of a struggle to find the hole i would know look at me i'm struggling to find the hole Come on, find it, find it. But yep, there we go, there it is. Found the hole, finally. And the answer to the other question that you're asking is yes, these can be marched with if you are insane. Like masked guy is, right here. Just keep in mind that these things are almost 100 pounds, so you're gonna need to take frequent breaks and rest out the old back there. So these are the sizes of each drum, in case you were wondering, and you may notice that I do not have an 8-inch drum on this set. But when I reach 100,000 subscribers, not only will I buy an 8-inch drum, I will also buy a second silver play button and attach the button onto the 8-inch drum and put it right in the middle there. Oh man, that'll be so cool. Just look at how cool that'll be. But before we get there, we have to pass 69,420 subscribers, and at that point, I will write the 69er cadence and do a Tinder profile reveal. Okay, time to tune the drums. So first I will tune the main four quad drums, and then I will tune the second set of quad drums slightly higher than that, but in between the notes of the original quad toms. So the 14 inch drum here will be the lowest, then this 14 inch drum will be the next highest, then this 13 inch drum will be the next highest, and then this 13 inch drum, and so on and so forth. So I haven't really tried to tune these to specific notes or intervals, I just kind of do it and try not to overthink it because I'm honestly just shredding for a few seconds in these licks. But if I really Really cared enough I could probably tune it to like a major scale or something and do some song but I never tried to do that yet so then I tune these two tom toms to notes that are lower than the lowest 14 inch drum and then I tune the six Spock drums I just crank this one as high as I possibly can and then just go down in this order one two three four five six So I wrote out some exercises that can be useful for the extreme tenors, and to be honest, I'll probably be the only person that ever plays these exercises. But I wrote them out anyways. So the way the sheet music works for the extreme tenors, so you have the four main drums, those go in the same place as a regular set of quads. Then the second set of tenors, they're gonna be a line up from where the normal quads are because they're a little bit higher in pitch. The two tom-toms will be down here below the staff, and the six Spock drums will be going in ascending order, starting where the normal Spock drum is, that's the very low one, then go up, 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 all the way to these ledger lines. So yeah, it's pretty obnoxious and really ridiculously hard to read, but like I said, I'll probably be the only person that ever reads this. Go ahead, prove me wrong, prove me wrong. You won't do it, you won't. The first exercise I wrote is called Around the World and is an extreme tenor legato exercise. For each of these, I will be doing two reps of the exercise, one extremely slow and one extremely fast. And I will also dut myself off like a noob so that you guys can play along. This next exercise is called, what the f is that guy doing? Because I hear a lot of people saying that when they see me practicing, and it's kind of catchy. So this is a good exercise for practicing zone accuracy and movement around the extreme drums. <laughs> And 
And the last exercise is a sweep exercise, but these aren't just any sweeps. These are extreme sweeps. So this is the extreme packet that I recommend that nobody's ever gonna play except for me. But if you practice all these diligently, then you will be able to play extreme beats, such as the extreme version of the Jig 2 tenor solo. So then comes the best part, putting things away. So I have to disassemble all these drums back into three pieces, then shove them all into my car, and then rinse and repeat every single day, all day, forever. And it seriously is kind of a pain in the butt to do all this, but you know, it's, it's so cool, guys. Like, these are so cool. Like, oh man, it's so cool. Thank you guys so much for watching, but don't forget, at 69420 subscribers, we're doing the 69er cadence and a Tinder profile reveal. So make sure that you click the subscribe button and ring that liberty bell and click the like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I will leave the link in the description. And have a good morning.